and our uh, Tijesu in Plateau State uh, waiting for us. And uh, we're here now with you, Tijesu. Uh, what does it look like over there? Yes, Uncle Yori, I'm at the just south local government area, and behind me is uh, Kumex polling unit. Uh, this is, uh, the, they started the, the voting process, uh, voting and accreditation at exactly 8.30. Uh, this is quite impressive because it's different from what we witnessed during the presidential elections where it was difficult for INEC officials to get to their polling unit. It took them a lot of time and there were a lot of delays, but this particular election was, was totally different. In fact, the deployment of this election material started in the wee hours of the morning. In fact, in the, um, since yesterday, yesterday evening, that's when the INEC officials began to gather and, you know, start to distribute election materials. So the voting process started off very, very quite early. As you can see, there is a high turnout of voters uh, presently on ground. You know, other polling units we visited, the same thing. You know, people are enthousi enthusiastic about uh, the, 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 the whole process and they are looking. They even said this is not actually the process they are looking forward to. They are looking forward to the coalition process. That's where they have so much interest in, that this is just the, you know, the start of the process. Of course, they will do what as, as expected. They are already aware of how they will cast their vote and what is expected of them. And what they are actually look, looking forward to is the final process, which is the coalition process. I have with me here one of the um, eligible registered voters. I, he is actually waiting to cast his vote. Uh, his name is Mr. Abraham Hassan. It's good to meet you. Thank you. So tell us what you think about this process. Well, uh, the process has been going on peacefully. Going on peacefully. Uh, we are here waiting to cast our votes. I came in around 9 a.m. and received my number. And now I'm queuing up to vote, waiting for my turn to vote. So, so far, so good. Uh, the process has been peaceful, and we are happy. Uh, we that are within this area and are voting at this polling unit are very happy to exercise our franchise. So today. are you impressed with INS performance in this particular election? Yes. Uh, they were here early, I gathered. They were here early, and... Um, the process has been going on uninterrupted. So we are happy with what we are seeing in our own polling unit. We don't know what is going on in other places, but we are pleased with what What do you think there. about the accreditation process, the beavers? Have it, has it witnessed any form of, um, you know, lapses? None, none that I know of at uh, the moment. Uh, even during the last election, uh, there was no hitches. And uh, today, so far, I've not heard of any hitch with the beavers. And uh, I believe that uh, the beavers here is working perfectly. All right, thank you very much for your time. So there you have heard it from uh, Mr. Abraham Hassan. He says everything is going on smoothly. The process is peaceful. Um, security operations are present on ground. There's a high turnout of voters, and they are just looking forward to the end of the process. Yori. You, you know, thank you very much, Tijesu. And it's so, it, it's so heartwarming when you explain that uh, in Plateau there, you didn't have that problem. INEC was really, really up and doing, uh, and you were explaining that they had to have started in the wee hours of the morning for them to be there ready to start at 8.30. That is what INEC promised. They delivered it in the case of Plateau, from what you're telling us, but how one would have wished that the conditions were, were the same, whatever, because we imagine that INEC wanted to get it as well as that, but uh, couldn't. Now, uh, uh, how many uh, people are actually in the race for a governorship there? I mean, you have a whole field? We have 18 candidates in the race, 18 candidates for the governorship. And for the uh, Houses of Assembly, can you recall that off head? The, the number of people that are for the State Houses of Assembly? I, I think that, that, that would be 28, because there are 28 oh. constituencies in Plateau, Con okay. in Plateau State. In the, in, in the mm. whole 17 local government, there are 28 mm -hmm. constituencies. So I believe that's 28 uh, uh, House of Assembly members. Be because it's looking quite ideal where you are at, um, you know, 
It's looking quite ideal, actually. No, no yeah, trouble. This is, this is the city centre. Um, more of those candidates are actually at the outskirts. That's four, three to four hours away from here. Uh, we have another correspondent, uh, correspondent there. Yes. We have Funam there. He's keeping an eye on activities there for us. But right here is almost like the city centre. This is just south uh, local government. If you go even ahead, that's uh, just north, I believe. Yes, that's just north. So this is just south, and the turnout here is very, very massive. Very, very massive, and, I can tell you, Mr. Yori. And quiet, and uh, everybody is chilled there. There doesn't appear yes, to be they any... Yes, uh, they seem to be very law-abiding. No troubles here. Everybody is, you know, on the queue. The security agencies, they don't, they have their work out, cut out for them, but they are not even pressured because everybody is, you know, abiding by law. And, you know, the, the warnings have already been given by the police commissioner yesterday, uh, assuring that um, there will be heavy security pres presence. 10,500 police officers were deployed all around Plateau State yesterday to ensure that there is law and order. But even the citizens themselves, they are, they are law abiding, they are calm, they are peaceful. They are, as you can see, they are just seated waiting yes. for their turn to vote. They, most of them have already been accredited. You know, they've gone to, uh, over to INEC, they've used the beavers and it has recognized them. They've been accredited. They've taken numbers. So what they're just waiting for is to cast their ballot. I believe this process should end at exactly 2.30, according to INEC guideline, because they started at exactly 8.30 and the voters were already present on ground to ensure, you know, to, to you know, begin the process. So everything started off rapidly and I believe the process should end at exactly 2.30 when voting and uh, sorting and voting, sorting and counting, uh, I beg your pardon, will start. Thank you very much, Tijesu Adeoye. We'll be back to you, of course, uh, in the course of time. Thank you very much. Uh, a heartwarming